Right boys, what is going on lads? Welcome everybody back to another video, another player review. Today we're going to be checking out Evan in Dicker. Now what a card this looks like, right? Six foot four, high medium work rates, which for me is personally the only iffy thing about this card. He's a left footer, two star, three star, which doesn't matter too much, but you have a look at his pace. 90 pace is phenomenal, 92 short passing, 90 long passing as well. Don't knock that off for a centre back because passing can come in very underrated for that centre back role, but his dribbling for a centre back, the fact he's got 90 dribbling, agility and balance is okay, but great reactions, great ball control, and a great in-game dribbling of 90 with 93 composure, which tells me you'll be able to push forward a little bit, maybe progress that pitch a little bit. Defensively, phenomenal, physical-wise as well, absolutely phenomenal. Sadly, no trace, but honestly, he's around 400,000 coins a minute, I believe, and in my opinion, boys, this card, he just looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, for the chemistry style, you could debate you want to go for a shadow but I think his 90 pace is respectable. Now, I don't have an anchor on me, so I might go pick one up, but I do think an anchor probably is a smart... You know what, actually? Now I look at it, he's got 87 acceleration, so I think we're going to go for a shadow. We're going to go for a shadow today. Because he's got 87 acceleration, I want that plus 10 acceleration, because his pace isn't necessarily split, but obviously his sprint speed is 5 above his acceleration, so he's going to go to 97 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, which in my opinion just looks a whole lot better. Obviously maxes out that defensive stats as well. So let's try him out with a shadow. I think whether you go for a shadow or an anchor, it won't, it won't make too much difference. It kind of just depends and it comes down to do you want that extra five uh, acceleration and do you want to forfeit that physical boost or do you not mind having 99 sprint speed and 92 acceleration and not only having the defensive boost having the physical boost as well either or anchor or shadow he'll do the job nicely let's get into the review on Indica, look at that. Now, he was actually behind my opponent's uh, attacker yet he still got the ball. That just shows how good he is, man. That's absolutely phenomenal. Like he, he had to wrap his leg around my uh, my opponent's body, if you will, to get that tackle through. John and Dicker go in for it. I believe he might have actually got a foot in there. I, I think he won back position, and Marquinhos kind of did the rest. And Dicker gets forward. You know what? He actually gets forward, which is really nice. Gets that interception, and then sadly, it's a little bit jammy, and my opponent comes away with it. Now, and Dicker get that out as well. Passes intercepted. Now he intercepts it again. Gets that pass out, boys. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit jammy there, but we walk away with a ball, right? So it's not too bad. He actually got two interceptions through there. And as well, if you did notice that short passing under pressure, that's why having some nice short passing as a center back is so underrated to get out of tight positions like that and quickly pass your way out, which indica absolutely perfectly. Good composure, good short passing, good dribbling and agility. So if your opponent is going to be, you know, spamming constant pressure, if you're a goal up, something like that, or press after possession loss, the fact that you have got Indica, who is very composed with some nice dribbling, etc., that's going to be absolutely massive, and we are 3-0 up. Lovely stuff, boys. Indica, once again, see, he's got the agility and balance to actually be able to push up a little bit and progress that ball, which is exactly what you want sometimes for your centre back. So if you were, like, ha having Indica feeling so good on the ball, it gives you that option um, to be able to, and Dicker with the interception as well, it gives you that option, if you really wish, it gives you that option to be able to pair him up with a more heavy type of centre back, right, come on, that's, yes, massive goal, massive goal, um, but basically, once he feels good on the ball, it gives you that option to be able to pair him up with maybe a slower, bigger type of centre back, like Moments Puyol or Moments Beresi, right, he, he gives you that versatility. Or an even better example, because I don't think Moments Beresi and Moments uh, Puyol are, are great examples because they're not very good at this point of the game. But a better example is that new Flashback Sula, right? Flashback Sula is very tall, really poor balance, right? So you could pair him up with Indica. You've got the bigger type of player centre-back in Sula. Then you've got Indica who you can rely on, and it kind of balances out your centre-back partnership. So like him and Sula, for example, would be absolutely phenomenal together. Last man. Indica, hey, no worries for him. We'll dribble back if it's annoying. Look at that tackle from Indica. That's absolutely unreal. Go on, send Jota. Jota going through here. Sweep it over to Terry Henry. Not quite what we wanted, but once again, Indica actually starting an attack from that tackle as well. No clue why we did that with our centre back, but will I complain? No. Go on, Indica. Let's test his pace, man. Yeah, with a shadow, he is very fast. Come on, get that tackle through. We don't have to. He just puts that pressure on very fast, making it hard for my opponent. 
And Dicker, once again, man, he's abs he's doing literally everything, bro. He's getting his tackles through left, right, and center, man. Another tackle from Indica. My guy, but this center back, is, it's unstoppable. No one can get past him, man. None of my opponent's defenders or attackers, sorry, can get past him. Well, you know what? It was actually offside, but I was going to say, did, did my Indica just actually pick up an assist? Nice little run. Once again, that's what you can do with that agility and balance. And Digger, what an interception, man. Stretches out his leg to get that as well. He's got that strength to back him up. Wins us a foul as well from it. Bro, I'd like... This is a definition of you shall not pass, man. And Dicker is absolutely phenomenal, man. And pairing up with Maldini, it really is putting my prime Maldini to shame. Like, my Indica is considerably, considerably better than my prime Maldini. Which just shows... That, that tells you enough you need to know, right? But what a performance from... Indica, absolutely phenomenal, man. Now, where do I start? First of all, we're going to go ahead and Kim style. We've put down an anchor, an anchor or a shadow. It doesn't really matter. A shadow works great for me, but you can go for an anchor if you wish. We're going to go for his height. We're going to go for 90 pace, 92 short passing, 90 long passing. That short passing and long passing is absolutely underrated for a center back under pressure. 90 dribbling as well is another very underrated stat to have for a center back. 92 defending, 92 physical as well. We're not going to go in depth and start naming all of his, his stand tackle slide tackle attributes we'll just say 90 defending absolutely phenomenal but only con i can think of is the high medium work rates ideally for a center back you're never really going to want to have your center back have high attacking work rates you're all, you're almost always going to be wanting your center back to have medium high or even medium i'd rather even have medium medium over high medium because sometimes if he pushes up a little bit he can get caught on that counter but nonetheless man very impressed with this card now we've gone for better than and obviously this is you know related to people that link with him so we're going to go he didn't say better than Sula, Flashback Sula and Klosterman. I think Klosterman really is just missing that aggression for him to be ranked anywhere close to Indica. Like, and when I say better than Sula as well, Sula's probably better defensively. That's probably it. On the turn, Indica's better. He's faster. Feels better on the ball, better passing. So I'd say he's better than both Sula and Klosterman. As for worse than, honestly, in my opinion, he's the best Bundesliga centre back. There is no Bundesliga centre backs that he that, that Indica is worse van um and i was actually going to say as well he put my prime maldini to shame lads pairing them up my indica easily outshined my prime maldini so even if you want to bring in your icon center backs like prime moments maldini odd odd debate maybe it's close but prime moments maldini as well only as at aggression for me man like I, if I had to have either Prime Moments Maldini untradeable or Tots and Dicker, I would choose Moments Maldini. But if you're going to go buy one, and Dicker's 400k, Moments Maldini's 1.5 million, when, you know, in consideration, but both, but they're not even that far off each other, which just shows you how good this Indica card is. Let's pick him up. If this was last FIFA, you'd be at least a million coins. We all know the market this year. This card, absolutely phenomenal. 9.7 out of 10 for me today. Probably would be a 9.8 if he was a bit cheaper and probably would be a 9.9 .9, even pushing a 10 if he was medium high work rates very close to the perfect center back see you guys in the next one